Welcome to Craft Time, and I'm Sandra, and I will be creating a DIY Mother's Day card with you today in honor of Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. To start off, we're going to be using some watercolors and some watercolor paper. I cut this watercolor paper down so I could use it on a card front. Now this is a really simple technique. If you have some watercolors or watercolor pencils at home, feel free to break them out and get ready to make a beautiful card for your mother. Now for this technique, I'm just creating a random pattern all around this paper of different flowers. I really want it to look whimsical. You can do whatever you want. If your mom likes roses or violets or whatever her favorite flower is, you can create it like that. I just happen to be making it how I think my mom would like it, but you can do it however you would like. I also added a little bit of splatters just to add some interest to the card, but I'm going to be creating a pattern all around. Now in design elements, we usually do patterns of threes because because it looks the most appealing to the eye. So that's why I'm just putting three flowers of every kind all around this card. But feel free to variate because there's no exact rule to how you can make things look nice. And I'm sure no matter what you create, your mom will love it because you made it by yourself. So right now I just added the different pinks and I added the yellow to the violet sort of magenta-y flowers and I'm adding in blues right now to create some contrast and just because I like blue. It's really easy to create a pattern, so don't overthink the process and just create whatever you know that your mom's going to like. Now that I've added the blues and all the flowers that I like, I'm going to add small details by adding little points inside the flowers. Hindsight, um, I wish I would have maybe made the black a little bit lighter because of the fact that I'm going to be writing in black, so keep that in mind while you're making your card. But um, either way, I did like how it came out. And now I'm just adding some green leaves and I'm adding a darker tone on top of the lighter tone that I first added to add more dimension to the card and to add some layers and give it a little bit more interest to the eye. And then I'm doing the same thing on the magenta flowers as well, adding a little bit of the purple and layering the color. With watercolors, it's a lot easier to start lighter and then build in the depth with the darker colors because you can't take away darker color, but you can always add color. So keep that in mind as well. And now just to make the card just a little bit cuter I'm going to go in with my sharpie fine point pen and add a few little details this is just a great way to personalize your card and add that much more detail and effect and make it look even prettier than it already does and I'm just adding little doodles that I think look cute on the card as well as adding the little lines to the leaves to give them more depth and more interest when you look at the card so whatever you want to do you can do it that way and you can also just do this with a regular pen as well and now I'm pulling out my Bombay watercolor ink. I'm using this to write the script on the card. Now you could have definitely just stamped on the card if you have a stamp or you're a stamp maker, but I just decided to use some script and you can also do this as well. And just keep in mind that it does not have to be perfect. That's part of what handmade is, is just, you know, adding your own little personal details and touch. I just decided to add a sentiment that I thought was perfect for Mother's Day. And I think you could add whatever you think would be perfect or applies to your mom as well. Now I did fast forward this part, so it's going to be a little faster than it would be if I was doing this on my own um, on regular time. But keep in mind that while you're doing this, make sure that you have enough time to do it so that you can get it done um, in a timely manner and that you like the way it comes out. And also the fact that you could get some errors while doing this. Now normally you could also just write this out in pencil and then do it in black, but I just decided to freehand it because I was on a time crunch and I thought it would just look nice either way because like I said it's handmade card so it's not supposed to be completely perfect and I know no matter what my mom's gonna love it so I'm just adding the sentiment with my own hand script.
now that we're almost done with our sentiment, be sure and give this enough time to dry because you don't want to smudge your work after all the time you put into making it. Um, usually I just dry this with my little heat gun that I have for drying things, but you could definitely just let it air dry so that it's ready to go and you can start building your card. And there we have it, you guys. Look how pretty it came out. And now we're going to just pick up a piece of cardstock, any color you could use. This is an 8x12, and I just like the blue color, and I'm using my little bone folder to just uh, create that crease, but you can use whatever you have, any sharp little object or the end of a scissor. And I just like that color, so that's what I chose. And I'm going to be sticking that down with my tape runner, but you could also use glue or a glue stick, whatever you have in mind. I'm just using what I happen to have in my little craft stash. Now that I'm just putting it down there and gluing it, I could have measured this ahead of time and used my trimmer, but I just decided to go the fast way and just tape this down and then use my scissors to just cut around it, leaving a small border all around. And using larger scissors will help you create a straighter line if you decide to go this route. But if you use a trimmer, you can always measure it ahead of time. I'm just more of a go with the flow kind of gal, so I just decided to just wing it and then cut it with my scissors. And I really like the way it came out. It came out pretty straight and really nice. And even though you might think we're done with this card, we're not. Now we have to work on the inside. Now you could leave your inside pretty simple. I am, I'm just gonna put down this white piece of scratch paper that I have. Um, I cut it down so it's a little square and it fits exactly inside there. You don't necessarily need to do this step, but I just think it kind of adds an extra little something to your card. And then I decided to add a sentiment on the inside. Now I could have stamped on the inside as well, but I just decided for the fact that I wanted to use this specific sentiment and I didn't have a stamp for it, that I would just uh, write it myself in script and I really like the way that it looked and this is kind of a faux calligraphy that I'm doing using my Sharpie fine point. Normally I would do um, regular calligraphy but like I said I was on a little bit of a time crunch so I decided to just write it uh, quicker with my little pen here and then just darken the lines a bit to make it more of that calligraphy type effect and you can do whatever you like you can even do very simple words it doesn't have to look like this and then I variated the words and made some regular and some look more fancy that way I could just add a little bit more interest to that sentiment and I love that sentiment and I think it came out great and I think my mom's gonna love this card so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you want to see more like this be sure and hit that subscribe and like button thank you guys so much and be sure to check out the links in the description box below Bye.